안녕하세요. Krista Kaleksimida, and in this video, I'll be opening up the Korean version of Fusion Arts, which in Korean is pronounced as Pyeon Art. So the set released in South Korea on December 1st, 2021, and it has a total of 129 cards, 29 being secret rares, and it should have the exact same card list as the Japanese version. However, keep in mind that sometimes cards like trainer cards might be out of order. We have seen this in the past in sets like Shiny Star V, particularly the Marnie, and even sets like Tag Team All Stars. Overall, same total of cards, but sometimes numbering might be different, so do not think you got an error card. It's just a little bit different in South Korea. Now, if this is the first time you're seeing Korean Pokemon cards, please keep in mind that the quality will be very different from the Japanese Pokemon cards. On common, uncommon, and also rare holo cards, you're going to see yellow borders, and on VMAX as well as Seeker Rare and Higher, you're going to see thicker texture compared to the Japanese Pokemon cards. And also on top of that, Korean booster boxes do not guarantee you a secret rare. I've definitely had my handful of boxes that have not had a secret rare. And why does this happen? It's just how South Korea advertises booster boxes. So you might have your handful of booster boxes where you've pulled secret rares consistently, but just keep in mind, it's not gonna be guaranteed every time. Now in terms of chase cards in the set, I'm definitely after that beautiful Elisa Sparkle full art trainer. And there's also four lovely alternate art cards in the set, including the Mew V, the Mew V Max, the Redent V, and also the Genesect V. Keep in mind, if you have been opening Fusion Strike in English, there is no Inteleon VMAX, Gengar VMAX, or Espeon VMAX in the set. The Inteleon and Gengar VMAXs are pullable from the high class deck if you're lucky, but the Espeon VMAX is not even available in Korean yet, so please keep that in mind. So with that being said, before we get started, please be sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more multi-language Pokemon content. Let's get started. Oh, so here we go. We have the lovely booster box of Korean fusion arts, Pyujin Achu. Looks a lot more saturated than the Japanese version. Of course, it's also called set S8, like the Japanese version. It's not going to have those different notations like the Indonesian or the Thai version. Indonesian would have I, Thailand would have two. Taiwanese would have F, which is very random, but that works, I guess. So again, Korean version, just S8, as you can see on the booster pack right there. So if there's no team left or team right, just team pile one or two. Let's get going. Hopefully pull something really cool but i like the pack art very cute gigantic mew <laughs> dynamax mew of course it's not changing form it's been a long time since we did a team left or team right right i miss that we have james we uh we used to japanese boxes yes uh, yes the japanese box or even taiwanese thai oh starting off with a ladios holographic i like it with the yellow borders actually it matches the dragon type color and we have the slashes on the edge it's very different on the english cards i've noticed the slashes are in a different location but that's okay i like the japanese or the i guess the asian version because even the indonesian thai and taiwanese cards will be the same okay so we got musharna lots of purple colored pokemon or uh psychic fairy types even we have Vullaby. we got this little actually it's a really good card in the game too we have verizian was considering adding it to one of my decks but the cool thing about fusion cards too they have the power of single strike pokemon and the quickness of rapid strike pokemon so you have a little bit of both with these cards okay you have graveler <gasps> Growlithe, really cute looking very homey we have snam by yukimori the claymation we have crocona in the sewage <laughs> and we have our first v card we have chandelure oh very saturated as well again the nice thing about the more recent sword and shield cards for a korean version or korean language um they are not curving as often so that's the nice thing about them they'll still curve here and there I, I guess it depends on the humidity since it's almost winter time here it's gonna not curve as much so that's very nice okay we so said we got smear girl i like this artwork it's very colorful i think that's the nice thing about fusion arts as a whole a lot of the artwork is very rainbowy okay we have uh excadrill we have we have the we have the grumpy guy from Snubble. Granbull. Oh my gosh, the names. There's so many names, guys. Sometimes they leave my head and then they come back <laughs> when they want to. But yeah, that's a Granbull. Fairy type. A very grumpy looking fairy type. All right, next pack here. We have Delcaddy. I've definitely always noticed a pattern with these packs too. Like you'll get a pack without a pull and the next pack will probably have a pull. But sometimes there's exceptions. And we got for Alligator, my homeboy from Gen 2. My first starter evolution really nice artwork as well looks like it's doing some epic slash there <laughs> or karate chop with its hand for alligator chop alligator chop i guess it's been a while since opening a box of like 30 packs i like, know i'm it's... looking at the packs thinking like Wow, that's a lot of packs. You, you know why too? Because we've been opening the 25th anniversary packs and it's, it was just like 16 packs per booster box. Right. Oh my gosh, failings. So after watching, I watched the uh, Pokemon Coco movie in Chinese and I learned the Chinese name of failings. It's well, I have to put that on screen. Because it literally speaks in Chinese too. It's so cute. I don't know why you're, I just remember that name so well. But yeah, the, it's like Li Zhen 
bat bien or something like that I, I forgot the last part but it always says legion like i noticed the pokemon when they say their names in chinese they say the first two characters and we have here galarian obstagoon i know wrong language for the video but it's just something i recalled but yeah anyway that's fun fact of this video <laughs> i just i just noticed felix more often now because it just reminds me of pokemon coco and how cute it was we have diggersby we have galarian zigzagoon we have gumi oh my gosh the little walkie talkies here and a cell gore very nice artwork right there like seeing all the different arts it's, i've only opened this with, in japanese so far so it's really nice opening this in a different language let's see what else we got and of course guys this is probably your first time seeing it with yellow borders unless you've opened the english version uh, fusion strike okay we got sligu we got gorbis ah we got crabominable with the yellow hair <laughs> very random i love how the, the yellow hair just pops out like so much compared to the rest of the card I'm actually happy though. I like how Gorbis and even Huntail have made an appearance. I feel like it's been a while since I've seen those Pokemon. And they actually match fusion arts pretty well. All right, let's keep going here. We have Onyx. We have Corvus Squire. Growlithe again, with very nice with the yellow borders. Ah, Vika Volt, one of my favorite bug type Pokemon. Oh, wow! First VMAX, we have Mew VMAX. If you haven't noticed, the characters are very simple. It's literally just Mew in Korean Hangul. Very simple. And also thicker texture. Hit the like button, guys. I have matching pink sleeves this time, just like with the Japanese version before. All right, almost done with the first pile. I know it's not really evenly split, but hey, first VMAX, I think you get two per booster box in Korean. So let's see what else we can get. At least we got one of the best ones. Hopefully we can get Boltund or Pulse Mong in Korean. Mong 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 means bark, bark, bark in Korean. <laughs> as per J. And it's actually funny because on my playmat, it says Meta Mong and sometimes it says like Mong Mong, which means bark, bark, but it's supposed to be the sound of ditto. <laughs> Very interesting. I'm sure I've mentioned that before quite a while ago by now we have milton we have dreepy coming from a cave it's really cute or is it not it's not a cave it's a corvanite statue i just took a closer look at that we have corvus choir Ooh, dracloak in the city i like that looks like new york city almost and we have mel metal very nice with the yellow borders it actually matches there very cool all right so no secret rare yet so far a couple of these and a v max will not complain still pretty good Let's see what else we can get. Compared to the English version, these pull rates are a lot more consistent. <laughs> I've been hearing with the English version, it's like one pull every five packs now. That's not that's not fun, <laughs> my opinion. Was that for um, sleeves or booster boxes? For, I think just in general for just like general. booster box booster boxes. Sleeves, of booster course. Boxes? Booster boxes. <laughs> booster um, boxes will be have their own thing going I on see. versus the sleeves. People have said sleeves are better, but. It, really depends i don't think it's every time mm. we have latios and latias really cute ah and deox is one of jay's favorites i'm gonna i actually to... do like that card a lot it's cool too because you have all the logos on this card fusion il gyok which is single strike and yon gyok which is rapid strike so that's for jay because he collects deoxes that's your third one i think now I like it. it's, cute. it's cute right it's really funny how jay like he's not even that much into pokemon he just gradually gets his favorites over time like hey just... you taught me <laughs> yeah that's true okay we have frost i'm learning from you Maract there's so many names like yeah. it's almost there's almost like a thousand pokemon now and remembering all of them is a challenge sometimes but i feel like when you play enough games that's how you remember all of them because you see them all the time okay we have toto dial oh my gosh i'm gonna put that on my toto dial croc and off for alligator for alligator collection we have the spongebob gloves really bad against water types so if you're against a water type deck then that's your best friend another chandelure wow oh. two for two that's the second one <laughs> sometimes the korean booster boxes will have repeat v cars it happens it's not a bad thing i didn't know you could do that sometimes and it, oh. i mean hey if you're building a chandelure deck or if you're building a deck in general that's always a good thing because you want to have multiples you have Grailith, you have star you broom again not so sticky anymore which is very nice we have vika volt and galarian lin also like... season change yeah season change it's it's colder now so we don't have any so more no curving and curving the sun and moon cards are the ones that are really sticky like sometimes i'm like trying to slide the cards and they're just not moving <laughs> we have heat more we have shroomish really cute we have the vulture we have the meloetta and talk not not I was going to say toxic <laughs> toxicity. They all sound so similar. We have the non amped version, which is very nice, and fusion. So, really cool on that. Love that hollow. Looks really great with the yellow borders. Also, one other set of Pokemon I always get mixed up now because they sound the same. We have Snom, Snover, and Snow Run. I know Snom is probably the easiest one to distinguish, but I'm just like, sometimes I'm like, that's a Snom. That's not a Snom. That's a Snover. <laughs> this is me playing Pokemon Diamond or Brilliant Diamond. Like that. Okay, here, here we go with the ice type Pokemon now, all sounding the same. <laughs> all right, let's keep going here. 
still no secret rare oh my gosh i'll have to say though i'm sure you guys have heard me say this in previous uh sword and shield era korean booster boxes the pull rates have definitely gotten a lot better versus the sun and moon era where the secret rare pulls were so scarce also this golem looks like it's about to explode that's actually really cool art concept like drawing it as it's about to do like a, a self-destructor explosion move we have star me very lovely artwork. also don't forget in the sun and moon era yeah the um, cards would be upside down. I know, I'm like, what is going on? I've seen that happen in English packs too. Oh, okay. Sometimes like, it's very, very rare though, where sometimes the last card or the pull card is like upside down in some weird <laughs> direction. But it has happened in Korean boxes too. Don't get me started too with the high class packs where like all the cards are reverse hollow and everyone thinks it's fake. It's not fake, by the way. It's just how um, they advertise it in South Korea. Because even with um, the Japanese version, a lot of the cards are reverse hollow too. Just remember they're on different card stock. Korea is the one with the outlying type of card stock. It's not so even, it, even, it's very different from the English version. If you touch the... Okay. Oh. Oh. All right, we have our secret rare, which is a Hoopa. Actually, I'm not gonna complain. I actually like this card. This is very, okay. very pretty. Hoopa, also in Korean. Very, very nice. Look at that thick texture. Hit the like button, guys. At least we pulled a secret rare. This is number 107 out of 100, so definitely the secret rare. Of course, you're gonna have those thick rainbowy outlines, which you're not gonna see on the regular V and V maxes. So there we go. It's actually really pretty. And I have heard some instances, sometimes you can pull two, but guys I, I don't think that's gonna be yeah, very careful. often people are gonna start thinking all right now i get two secrets <laughs> yeah. careful. it's happened to me once that's it i've never seen it other but than that not guaranteed that's not guaranteed guys so don't go don't get your hopes up right careful. <laughs> but yeah so you can either get none one or two if you're extremely lucky but it's probably not gonna happen don't get ever get your hopes up on that we have Vullaby, we have rookadi oh it's so cute the two names sound the same or similar can we charge a bug one of my favorite bug types and we have steelix very rarely seen with the fighting energy uh, type we just usually see that in steel type oh yeah so for those who like to have disputes with me about how korean booster boxes never have or always have secret rares if you've watched my previous korean opening of astonishing voltacle i've opened like four or five boxes on my channel and only one of them had a secret rare i don't know why i just somehow didn't have the right amount of luck and we have chandelure vmax actually this is probably the one i wanted over the bolton <laughs> i forgot this is in the set it's so nice by akira egoa very very lovely texture and also if you haven't noticed a little bit more saturated that is normal with korean pokemon cards if this is your first time watching very lovely Ooh, very happy all right so i think we're probably due for maybe a couple more v cards but yes so of course in this video you did see the secret rare pull but if you watch a lot of my other korean pokemon videos you will see there's a lot of videos where i don't <laughs> have a secret rare double blaze. yeah double blaze is one of them uh, astonishing voltacle of course a lot of the sun and moon era ones actually a lot of the boxes that people kind of forget about some of them had um, no secret rares as well but if anything that's the era where it happens the most so when i do get a secret rare pull i'm really happy particularly from that era all right we have a really sh really cute shelmet by Sao uh, Shibuzo, not Sao Sao Shibuzo. And we have Dragonfold. I feel like I'm pulling all my favorite hollows in this video, so very happy about that. Looks great with the yellow borders, if anything, it matches. <laughs> See, not all the yellow borders will occasionally be really nice too. Of course, my favorite will be the silver borders, but sometimes they look really good with the Pokemon. I think we have four more packs left. So again, no card trick. Also, one thing I noticed too, there's no advertisements. That's perfectly fine. Usually the advertisements come in the earlier print runs. Um, of course, this just came out too. I'm not sure why it didn't come out, but of course I can tell if it's real or fake. This is definitely a real authentic box. So do not worry guys. Um, if you get the advertisements, it's a nice little bonus. Sometimes it just says like any new products in Korea, etc., or like the card list of the actual product you're getting too. We have Musharna. We have the little tablets, the lifesavers, I like to call them. Ah, and Pulsamong, Bolton V. Very lovely artwork. It's cool that Bolton gets a lot of love in this generation. It already has two V cards <laughs> and um, a V Max, which is nice. All right, last pack. I'm not expecting too much. We did just get a V card um, and we already got our two V Maxes and Secret Rare. So let's see what our last pack has. Still lovely artworks to look at. We have Gumi. Oh, Grubbin. So cute. Helioptile. Galarian Cursola. Oh, and another Ladio. So we get repeats here and there. Very lovely holographic. So there we have it. Great box. I hope you guys enjoyed this opening. If you did so, please be sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more multi-language Pokemon content. Stay safe, everyone. We'll see you in the next video.